So in Texas, you'll see purple sage in front of doors and um, entryways a lot. Uh, the myth is that uh, keep away a evil spirit, but uh, I think the real reason is because they, uh, it blooms before rain. And boy, I'll tell you what, you know, if you were living here as a pioneer, going through a drought would be an evil spirit. Some of those lighting up would sure make your day. So I'm hoping that the uh, that sky that's very stingy, see it behind me with the uh, the little snow, uh, the storm clouds. I'm hoping that it, it drops that rain, but it's stingy. We'll see. Well, howdy, everybody. It's Steve at Thousand Year Home. So behind me, I'm putting in a, uh, a an inexpensive pipe fence using galvanized and uh, Oh, salvage materials that I found here and there. I'm I'm about at four hundred dollars. So, but uh, before I do that, the the real thing that I want to do is is get that there sage in the ground. Because <laughs> behind me, I see a big storm rolling in. So, uh, I, I priorities. I love to try to grow things. Texas is is really a hard place to grow stuff, but I give it a whirl. I give it my best. So. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to put that sage in the ground. They only bloom when there's rain coming, so I believe that I've got rain on the way. And uh, I'm going to take a weed whacker. I'm going to weed whack behind that, uh, get it out of the way where the cattle won't be tromping it. And I hope to again one day have a great big old sage bush there. I bought two, one for each main gate coming into my place. So let me go ahead and get that one up. Learned a long time ago to not uh, weed whack in shorts. <laughs> One of the few reasons why cowboys should still wear chaps is uh, <clears throat> using a weed whacker. These aren't cowboy chaps either. These are motorcycle chaps. Now I can make a mess. Well, I've got some uh, sulfate uh, fertilizer to put around that to help it bloom. I'm gonna go find some road apples to stick in there, some manure. So let me go ahead and take care of all of that. All right. A little manure in there. Never hurt anybody.
right. <clears throat> one down, one to go up at the other front gate. Let me get that too. All right. Well, if you got to move some water around on the ranch and you don't have lids, just put another bucket in a bucket and it'll it'll keep it from all sloshing out. It'll slosh a little. Trust me, I got hog digs and everything. That whole thing would have been sloshed out. Well, that's a quick way of doing that. I've got some weed whacking to do before I plant that other uh, purple sage. Let me go ahead and do that. Well, I waited a little too long to hit that dove weed. It's just too thick to get. But I also left some milkweed there since the monarchs like it. And uh, oh, I'm gonna guess that that's a passion plant or maybe morning glories, but I've, I've they're big morning glories. So anyway, I get that all cleaned up. And I wish that I would have weed whacked earlier or brought a machete. <laughs> that stuff's thick. Right, that is American milkweed right there. You don't want to kill these when you find them. Just leave them be. Now, monarch butterflies will need these. There's another little patch right there. So I mowed everything else but those. <laughs> and uh, whatever the, uh, I'm going to guess those are morning glories of some kind or another. Now this little corner of the fence. <sighs> I think it'll be just right. Whenever I have a water or something I haven't finished drinking in a while. I'll just pour my water on it when I get out and open the gate. I still have it put in an electric gate here. I, I'm fine with that. Notice it has a lean that way, and that's where the sun goes mostly. So, before it gets packed all the way in there, real hard, I'm gonna spin it so that the thing will grow towards the sun and straighten out that little lean. Now I'm happy. So in Texas, you'll see purple sage in front of doors and um, entryways a lot. Uh, the myth is that it'll keep away an evil spirit, but uh, I think the real reason is because they, uh, it blooms before rain. And boy, I'll tell you what, you know, if you were living here as a pioneer, going through a drought would be an evil spirit. Some of those lighting up would sure make your day. So I'm hoping that the uh, that sky that's very stingy, see it behind me with the uh, the little snow, uh, the storm clouds. I'm hoping that it, it drops that rain, but it's stingy. We'll see. Try not to be angry at it.